Let me tell you about these bugs in Maine. They're crazy. All right, it's a little buggy out here, as you can see, probably. I have to put this net on so they don't like eat my face and my neck a lot. So the excavator is here. I popped a track. Well, I was hoping to put in a long day today, but start pouring all of a sudden. So I'm on my way to the land. Well, I'm on my way to tractor supply. I need to get a shovel and a pickaxe and a rubber mat. See what I can do. I'm not getting the excavator till Friday. Try and clear out the land a little bit, but I'm antsy and I want to see what I can do out there just by hand. We're on kind of a slope, so there's a gradual watershed where the water's just kind of running down along both sides of the makeshift roadway we have where uh, the forestry service came in and cleared a bunch of trees out. It's good because it's not completely washed out, but the water's running right into the area that we want to flatten out for our pad. So I'm going to try to figure out which way I'm going to divert the water and how I'm going to divert the water. Here we are at the land. This is the, the entryway. Got the truck backed in a little bit. And it just rained here. It's actually rained a lot, so the ground's pretty soft. Got a little bit of a slope, not too bad. Uh, up here is pretty dry, past those stones and that, and that stump. As you can see, the land kind of comes down a little bit of a slope this way. So all the water from up here on this hill, kind of hill kind of peaks up this way, back this way, and it just kind of is draining down. And because they came through here with some big equipment and made like a little roadway, of course, now the natural path of the water is just cut right through the middle of it and then flow down that way cuts both ways like that so first thing i plan on doing is kind of starting up there and digging a trench digging this trench out deeper kind of as far to the right as i can go all the way down to the uh to the ditch down there and that'll keep the water from filling in this area i'm gonna go up here to the top and I'll show you when I get up there. There's a little spot I'm going to dig out to try to help a little bit of the water that's pulling up up there. Most of the water's coming down from this area and just kind of, you know, moving downhill a little bit. It's like great here and then it's just hitting this road and whew, coming down. So I think what I'm doing right now is up here I've got a nice little pool of water <clears throat> from where they probably had a, a big old metal pad to drive across because you get the gas line that kind of comes through here. So it's filled with water, so I'm going to dig this out a little bit so it can drain and at least help a little bit. Just dug out a little path right there. As you can see, the water's flowing right out. And you know, this is kind of probably filling over there and you pull up over here, but at least it's got somewhere to kind of filter down. Obviously, it's not filtering down right here, but that'll help dry this out. It'll also help keep, you know, some place for a breeding ground for bugs. Step one, complete. So the excavator is here. It's my first time ever using a mini excavator. Yeah, this works. Got a lot of work to do. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Doing pretty good right 
now. You're doing pretty good. Here he goes. So we're up here on a piece of property that we purchased in Maine. This is our first day with the excavator. It's pretty exciting. Um, Jay's trying to get a, you know, some things done as much as we can for the first day. But as you can see, we have a lot to do. Look at there, folks. He's done it. He got himself unstuck. <laughs> I think he has the hang of it. He's doing pretty good. Getting that ditch done. It looks great. You're doing a good job. Little by little. Clear this out now so that I can kind of run the ditch down this way. Yep. Well, these are the results of day one. It looks worse than when I started. <laughs> but I got the ditch almost up there to the top where I wanted to go. I had a giant boulder stuck in here. Several big boulders. That one right there. Several other ones, but then this sucker is huge. I had to roll it. Whew, that was fun. So we're on day two with the excavator. She's got a lot done. The ditch goes way up there now. So as you see, this is the left side and it's drying up. She has inverted the water from the left side of the piece of property over to the right side. All right, so it is day three of me having rented an excavator. My first uh, goal was to uh, put in a ditch just to get the water. This area right here is so wet. I tried to flatten it out yesterday and it's just so wet that it just mushes up around the treads of the uh, excavator. We've decided, just to expedite us being able to stay out here, that we're going to uh, put our pad right here. Our first pad. Which will probably end up being one of our other pads later on. I'm going to measure it out today. Kind of figure out exactly where I want it. Put some put some uh, flags or stakes or whatever, and then go from there. That's it. It's it's a uh, quite a learning curve. I'm running an excavator, but I'm getting there. I thought if I could rent this in a week and clear this whole front three acres out, but I <laughs> realize that's kind of a pipe dream now. I'm gonna get this pad done, hopefully. Get some electricity out here, some water, our septic put in. The goal is to be able to bring our RV in here after our month is done at the park we're at now, which is about 30, 35 minutes away. That way we can uh, just get up in the morning and get to work. Right, so the first thing I gotta do is grease all the Zerg fittings on this, which we do every day.
say knock down a tree. All right, so this is today's work. Knock down two trees, trying to kind of level this out and digging into this hill here as I come back and spreading the dirt out, leveling it out as I go. Dug up two trees. This giant boulder I just dug up, I'm gonna save that for tomorrow, but tomorrow I'll continue working my way up this way, kind of through here. I'm gonna knock this tree down this way. Get this, I'm gonna have to roll this boulder out of here somewhere. That's it. We're getting there. The road's drying up nicely because of my little ditch. We have a, a steady flow of water. So I don't know if we have a natural spring on the land somewhere or further uphill from the land, but this is all nice and it's getting very dry. It's drying out. Pretty soon we'll be able to pull the truck back even further if we need to, but. It's going to be the site of the new pad. I popped a track. As you can see, came right off. Got nobody out here to help me, so I'm gonna see if I can get it back on by myself. I wake up in the morning in this gray blue state. Golden fingers caress my face, slips through the window on a silky breeze, a dreamer's life to plant some seeds. Pictures blue and green, and I release them to the sea for the ages. 
Hey guys, all right, so we're on day five. Just finishing up day five. And uh, the septic guy come out today, or the soil guy, figure out where we're gonna put it. And put the uh, septic right down here, or the septic spring right here, and the leach fields down there. But I need to clear off all this loam. And I think I'm gonna put it down in there maybe, because I don't think I have anything down there so we can use it for a garden. But that's the next step. Actually, just moved some stuff around. Piled up a bunch of the big trees over there and the rocks there, rocks there. This is a big uh, brush pile that I'm either going to burn or have somebody haul off. Got to get these stones pushed up a little bit more. But that's about it. And I just got to push all this loam off and level it out. And then we're going to get some fill brought in and gravel and get our pad done. And then I might have to rent this sucker for another week just to get stuff done up here too. A lot of work. Sun's bright. All right, it's uh, Wednesday. I got two more days. It's the end of end of the day. So I cleaned it up in the front a little bit. Stack some of these boulders. Stack some more boulders over there. Stack some trees. Cleared out a few trees. Uh, this is either a burn pile or I'm gonna have somebody come and get it. I cleared this area out pretty much the most I can without like a skid steer or something. You can't really tell on camera, but it has a gradual slope this way and this way. <laughs> Back there, I cleared that all out. That's where our septic system is going to be. And then, so just in case we change our minds about everything, and this is how we originally wanted it. I came up here earlier and kind of saw this spot here. There isn't too many stumps as opposed to over here. There's just tons of stumps. It would take a while to clear them all out, but here there was only a couple big ones, and one of them was right there. And I ripped it out, and then I pulled out these two huge boulders. <laughs> so I'm going to keep on pushing this back and clearing this back to the back there, and this will be another site, or site number two, or one, depending on what we decide to do. We're getting there though. Well, I was hoping to put in a long day today, but it started pouring all of a sudden. It wasn't supposed to start raining until tomorrow. But nothing like do I'd get it out of here before I got that thing stuck in mud. <laughs> but I cleared most of that out. Took out a bunch of roots. And I think we're gonna put the pad up here now. This is all just loom I'm going to put over here and then we got to bring in some fill. I've still got to shovel it back a little bit, get some more of that loom off the top. But I guess the plan now is we're going to turn that, this area, into our septic field. Big septic field that can house multiple units and that's going to be our pad up there. I'm getting soaked, but I love the rain. <laughs> oh, I'm slip. I had this boulder that was sticking out a little bit. And it's kind of in the way. I mean, it's a little bit sticking out too high. But once we put the fill in and the gravel, it would kind of be level. But I wanted to try to like knock it down into the ground a little bit more. So I've been trying to get to the bottom of it, digging, digging, and digging. And uh, there's no bottom in sight. I could come at it from this angle and try digging out a little bit more, but. I mean, it even goes another three feet into the dirt that way and who knows how deep to the right. So I don't think I'll be able to move it or get it to sink down anymore. So I'm just going to refill this hole and I'll just have to leave it there. Rough. <laughs> 